much is this apartment? Oh, it's above my budget. Figures. Here we are, Upper East Side, 72nd Street. Buy some food trucks. Look at that, you got the bus across the street from where the train is. Great area, the apartment's close. Now, uh, if you're the kind of person that eats food, you'll find some food in here, and it's Mexican food. Coffee, whatever those are, and tacos. Look at this, every storefront is like a restaurant. But there's another food truck. So no matter which side of the street you're on, you can eat something. Now this right here, it says grocery, but it's not a grocery store. It's actually a candy store, which might also sell milk. But the flowers might be a cut above other deli flowers. Check this out, Gristiti's. This is a real grocery store. You can see they have every flavor of Oreo cookie. And then there's an entire section devoted to just baking things in your oven. That's right, I do. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. So this is pretty wild, look at this. So many restaurants over there. Same thing across the street. I've been looking for gyms, I haven't seen any. But you know, it might technically count as exercise, walking to all these different places, thinking about what you're gonna spend your money on, what you're gonna eat, whether or not you're gonna like it, and then ordering the wrong thing, which is what happens to me every time I eat anywhere. She could have stolen my camera, but she didn't, and that's how you know this is a safe neighborhood. You got old, classic-looking buildings like this guy. Some of the streets have actual gardening. There is still some spray paint, but it's not on any of the buildings, which is what matters. It's hard to find things about this neighborhood to complain about, but if you were to find one thing, there are too many Dunkin' Donuts here. Their coffee's not that great, and New Yorkers who consume it should be ashamed of themselves. You can totally do better. Look, they didn't finish. Same over here. At least it's starting to click in. And then over here, we have one of the strangest apartment buildings in New York. It's got like the open walkways. Weird design. You definitely don't see this very often. They keep it clean though. My assumption is that in the winter, having something like that, it probably gets icy and it gets cold here. Anyways, the apartment's really close, but there's one more thing. Bet you didn't know there was a park here, and it's actually a pretty nice park. It's the John Jay Park, and the background noise that you don't hear is because the expressway is so jammed up, the cars can't go very fast to disturb you. So it's very peaceful, it's very sunny, it's very clean. Look at that, the building is a five minute walk from where we are. So this is like having a backyard where you don't have to mow the lawn or put in any effort. You just have to show up and possibly be around strange New Yorkers. But you got your tennis, your water fountains that probably don't work. They do work. A camel and this building is actually a locker room and that's because we have a pool out here look at that a really nice public pool they're painting it getting it ready but wait there's more look at that a second pool i'm not sure why there's two but you get two pools in a backyard if you live in today's apartment how are you good to see you phil hey how's it going Cash? i'm excited you guys all good oh no i bumped into all the buttons there's too many people in the elevator <laughs> and uh, shoes off. Oh, that's pretty cool. Phil, you got the whole squad here today do, for this place. All right, so it's 3.875, three bedroom, two and a half bath. It's 19 BC, it's a combination unit, and it's really the crown jewel of this building. 3.85, okay. Yes. So this is all their furniture. There are a couple of pieces like this, uh, is Paolo Medina staging. Okay. Favorite stage. Does that mean I can jump on the bed? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, really? Which, which one? <laughs> See, I knew it. Okay, we got two bedrooms this way, and the third bedroom is over there. We have a really awesome great room here with windows on both sides, which is really unique in New York. The kitchen here is pure elegance. Look at that. Bro, why did you leave the circus and get into real estate? Have you ever seen Phil do that before, Savannah? That was a first for me, and I've seen Phil do quite a few things in, uh -oh. my, in my time. Dual wine fridges? Dual wine fridges! Most people don't even have one. TV where you can watch my videos if you subscribe. And look at the lights. Everything about this just looks dope. Small bone kitchen. 
Small bone kitchen. Is the designer? The person that designed the kitchen. Yes. Not the style of kitchen. I'm learning about real estate. Ooh, look at that. Everything in here is like so cute. This is like country home vibes in New York City. And this is the kind of coffee maker you want to have. Look at that. Cooking show. My gripe with the cooking show is that they take the thing that they just made and they put it in here and then they close it and they're like seven hours later it's gonna look like this is it really <laughs> rachel ray is it really spice cabinet yeah ain't no rack that thing's huge anything strange what's this an unknown bottle of something Look at that, it's like a magical wardrobe of food. Ooh, chocolate ice cream, the oat one. Sauerkraut's German. It is. They know how to live. What's this? I don't know. Whoa, it's hey, like the world's skinniest pantry. How deep it is though. You're eating me. So it's like a walk-in <laughs> pantry. And the coolest part of this place, well, maybe not the coolest, but look at that. Is it, it's not it's a cutting a board. tray. A cheese tray with a leather handle. And look at this, it fits perfectly. Ooh, yeah, feel the that's power. loud, man. This is louder than that drone outside. I don't know if I've ever uh, sat at a table space, that was like this nice. It's made out of some shiny space age material. Look at that. And this is an eight person table, which looks like it gets bigger if it needs to. Bolo? Coco Bolo? Well, I don't think it's Coco Bolo, but. Mm, close. Oh, it's like a desk. Look at that. It's so useful. You could have Zoom calls here with your baby giraffe. I feel like you could keep magical objects in there. You know, Phil, I think this entire thing might be a magical object that takes you to another dimension. Isn't that dope? This is actually a really cool piece. Secret door. It's what, just a bathroom? Uh, no, you could actually put a washer dryer back oh, here. Oh, back here. With board approval. With board approval. Look at how big this closet is. That's awesome. Is the board tough? And a dryer. No, not bad, not bad. They just changed that rule. They just started allowing washing. Oh, dryers. okay. This is the living room and it's bigger than most people's apartments. It also feels great since we got light kind of flowing in from multiple angles and we're right by the kitchen. This is like the perfect place to entertain. And this is my favorite piece of furniture right here. I would totally fall asleep on this thing. It's probably more expensive than the bed I sleep in right now. It's a light up there. Yeah, it's cove light, just very subtle, very subtle. Now outside of these windows over here, we've got a Southern facing view. And the other side is actually North. So if you can't decide if a Northern view or a Southern view is your favorite, you get both. This is one of the craziest New York City views you could ask for. This is the southern direction. You could see this weird factory, some sort of smokestack, and that's that fancy building over there by Central Park. Also, we're 19 flights up, and we're technically on the building's corner. Isn't that something? People are paying money to go up inside like the Empire State Building and see the city. But if you lived here, you would get it every day, all to yourself, for $3.85 million. Man, I need to come up with some money. Can you imagine having a little tea party on this thing? Sipping your tiny little cup of espresso? Admiring your flowers? I noticed they don't have any tulips. And then over here, this is where we happen to have the lounge seating. Also, these benches, these are like the perfect seat. Kind of feels like a park. And then there's like this. This is probably part of the building from a long time ago. Oh wait, there's actually several of them. And then on this angle, we find ourselves with another outdoor table. So you walk through the park, you get to the lounge, and boom, you can eat something. Got ourselves a decent grill, comes with water access. And that makes sense. There is a lot of green out here, which looks pretty healthy. And you see that? That corner is our other roof deck. 3.8 million is a lot of money, but it has two of what every other $3.8 million place has. bedroom number one and this is a three bedroom apartment this room is gonna be tough to beat though we've got the best view in my opinion you can have a ziggurat shaped dresser tape player wallpaper and the bed is massive look at the size of this pretty high up it's on a frame but it doesn't look that big even though it obviously is a monster what do you think about the theme in here I like the way it all kind of goes together gray and white gray and white 
I didn't expect it to open up that big. The doors are on hinges. Look at that glorious closet. Also the cool thing, since it's like a closet that can partially, you can partially open it and just get to where the clothes are. This bathroom is attached to the bedroom. And look at that, it's a full size bath. The medicine cabinet that just, it looks cool. I don't know if every bedroom gets its own bathroom, but this one does. I'm also guessing that this foot logo and this temperature thingy, that means heated floors. That'll be really comfortable in the winter time. The light looks like a flower. Also, we didn't need the lights in here, but everything's on like a one touch dimmer. For reference, that bedroom is next to the secret room and everything else is over yonder. That looks like a Jackson Pollock. Oh yeah, that's a real painting. We're in a bedroom. What is this? This is the coolest corner. This is your little library corner. A library corner. Uh, and it's attached to this, I guess the guest bedroom. I think this is a good be guest bedroom. Perfect for like a crazy relative. Have them live there. They can send emails. Oh, this is awesome. Look at this gem right here. Restaurants from 91, 92, bro. If you find a restaurant that's in that book and it's here today, you better eat there before it closes. But this room is no less functional than any of the others. We could fit a big queen size bed. We've got a massive window. Look at that. You can just climb right out to the deck. Escape the apartment. This is the second roof deck. Don't worry, we're coming back. Did you know it opened like that? No, I didn't. Isn't that awesome? Wow, every room here has like built in everything. And there's the shoe rack that hangs over the door, the number one accessory for any New York apartment. Dude, this is madness. How do you get dressed in the morning with this many closets? <laughs> look at that. Would you ever show a place like this and be like, yeah, hey, look at, how, look at how much storage you have. If you left it like this when you're doing the showing, just to show how much space there is, there's probably 20 feet of closets here. Yeah, you can't even get into the room. You could have like H&M in this one, you could have Zara in this one. You could have Gucci, you could have... Okay, yeah, okay, oh yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Biggest bedroom? Yes. <laughs> what is this, a king? King. I feel like you could have another one here and then another one here. This room just feels so open, it's massive. Like an entire apartment, that's what this is. Two of these amazing tilting windows from the other room. I'm just so overwhelmed by this apartment at this point. This is icing on the cake. Wait till you see the bathroom. Dude, it's so classy looking. What does this pipe do? What is this? Is this the drain? I think this just holds it in place. Oh yeah, it's not connected yeah, to Yeah, because you have the drain here. Okay. Love this like mosaic. That looks like it ain't cheap. Can I get in? Yeah, cool. Is it going? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's going. Look at that. Oh man, I could just sleep in here. These things, it's how you know you've made it. If you are spraying behind your ears with this, instead of standing under the shower like a schlub, that's, that's it right there. Well, let's go ahead. Ooh, what's this? It's a two person shower. Look, you can see from where his feet are and where my feet are that there's room for like number three right here. Cool little handles. Another one of these, of course there is in this place. There better be. And look at this, there's even room to sit here and wash your feet. A great habit. Then over here we got the double sinks, lots of drawers, and a hidden little throne room right over here. Let's see if you can watch TikToks. It passes. Passes the test, you don't even have to leave. Pocket door, lighting one touch, and we got a little cabinet. And then over here we have deck number two. Dude, this has to be some kind of record for like a balcony. Length of balcony? How long is it? I don't know, I think it's probably 50 or 60 feet. Yeah, I don't think the iPhone can go that far. And look, all the way over here, this is the very corner. And again, 19 floors up, this is what that looks like. And this is the northern view. So we're facing Manhattan as well. Can you even hear what I'm saying? I don't think he can hear me. Can you hear me? Okay, yeah, I had to shout. So we've got the hose, plants, tables and chairs. Now, since this is off the bedroom, I'm guessing that you're not really expecting guests on this one. No, not too much, because you have the other one, which is... That's true. Bigger, but... Come out here in your PJs, read a book, look down on your neighbors because their building is lower. Oh, that one's much lower. I see they're storing like a motorcycle or something underneath that tarp. No comment. Guys, shout out to Phil and Savannah. Their info is right here. Does it matter who people no. want to spend their 3.85 million with? Either one. Either one. There you go. See you in the next video.